Hello and welcome to the New Brunswick Today Weekend Review with me, Matthew Wozniak. We're going to take a look back at some of the biggest stories from the past week. If you would like to read the full coverage of any of the covered stories, please click the link provided. A dead body was found hanging from a tree near Walgreens by the intersection of Comstock Street and the railroad tracks. The incident first came to light after a video posted on Facebook showed firefighters and police responding to the scene. According to New Brunswick Police Captain J.T. Miller, the preliminary investigation suggests suicide. On January 30th, community members and immigrant rights supporters gathered together at the corner of George Street and Livingston Avenue to protest against the recent Department of Immigration and Customs Enforcement raids that have been taking place across the country. The protesters called for the release of Herman Nieto, who was taken into custody by ICE agents on January 5th, after they broke into his home looking for an unknown person while pointing guns at his family. On December 19th, the Embrace Kids Foundation invited 600 children and family members to a Star Wars-themed holiday party with food, gifts, and over 40 volunteers from charity organizations who dressed up in character to entertain the children. The Embrace Kids Foundation works to maintain normalcy and improve the quality of life for families whose children are facing cancer, sickle cell, and other serious health challenges. Darwin Chavez has won New Brunswick Today's second annual snowman contest with 223 votes. There was plenty of snow to work with as New Brunswick saw a record-breaking 28 inches of accumulation on January 23rd. This year saw 38 entries in the contest, which was run through New Brunswick Today's Facebook page. The sculptures, which ranged from a barbecuing couple to an Olaf and a snowman doing a headstand, were ranked based on the number of likes they received. However, Chavez's spray-painted Snoopy on a doghouse came out on top. That wraps up the review for this week. Please tune in next week for another episode. In the meantime, go to newbrunswicktoday.com for news in the Hub City. You've heard enough from me, now we want to hear from you. Go to our Facebook page or use the hashtag NBTodayListens on Twitter and tell us what's on your mind. If you have any concerns, questions, or stories, New Brunswick Today is always listening. Until next time, have a good day.